Hello everybody and welcome back to Chillington Farm. In the previous episode, I bought this little tractor and I was doing a bit of work in the grass fields. Just creating a few more extra bales. We are going to sell those bales, I think, because they did turn into straw. No idea what I just hit. Anyway, yes, uh, quite a few people were not happy that I bought the tractor. As I explained, this is not the survival series. Survival challenge is where we don't buy pointless things, unless, of course, I make a mistake. Um, yeah, I, I want to have um, fun experience in different mods in this series, which is what I explained anyway, but some people still wanted to say that it was a waste of time and a waste of money. Anyway, what we have to do today is harvest some fields. We need to start the fields. I think probably starting with field number three is going to be a better idea than field number one, because uh, then I can actually do the harvesting, at least some of the harvesting myself, uh, because film number one is just huge and I want to stick that onto course play from the start. So we are going to be going over there in just a minute. But first of all, we have some more alfalfa to load up and sell. The previous load was £20,000 worth. I got paid overnight. Now we also have that rough patch of land and I've been there this morning. Some of it just rotted away overnight. Um, so that there isn't really much there, and there wasn't really much there anyway. I think we probably will still tell it again. Well, leave the sun to dry it out. Possibly tell it again uh, to get some hay, but it's it's just really low quality grass. So really, what it should have is a bit of leveling, and um, then we should plough it to make it a much more productive field. So yeah. First things first, we'll do this, and then we're going to get the combine harvester started, and we'll go over to our linseed field. Looking forward to that. Never harvested linseed before. And I'm told that it does yield quite well. So we need to have this trailer over there. And then we should be able to keep up. But there is no rush. It doesn't matter if it takes many trips to the sell point. The other thing which we might be doing today is um, testing out some tractor, well testing out a tractor. I'm looking to start demoing some tractors so that we know exactly which one is going to be best to buy as our new high horsepower tractor. It's not going to replace anything, it is going to be our main cultivation tractor. I am probably going to look at the class challenger to begin with because it's not new fairly old and it's quite cheap to buy it without using the used machinery mod it is a hundred thousand pounds with used machinery it's probably about 85 ish 90,000 uh, which is still quite good for a 510 horsepower tractor I know that many of my viewers have suggested it so that's why I'm going to try it first of all it doesn't mean we're going to be buying it though it is simply to demo it to see if it's what we're looking for. Even if it seems like a really good tractor but isn't quite perfect for the farm, then we won't buy it. Because that is the whole point of demoing. We need to find that perfect tractor. Okay, we're ready to go. We may do another load later, it just depends how busy we are, but I would expect we're not gonna do another one because harvest is pretty full on. Uh, and then we're gonna have to do some baling, but not in the first field. I think, can we do spelt? I, I think you can bail the spelt, the spelt straw, but we'll have to find out. Most likely it's uh, classed as standard straw. So there we go, that is a fully ripe field of spelt. We'll go and uh, take a look at the linseed as we drive past. Ow! Oh. Lunatics. It's that dreaded junction where the cars don't even slow down. Just go whenever you feel like it. <laughs> right, okay, so our turning is on the right here. We just want to see what it looks like. Oh, look at the alfalfa. Yeah, we're going to grow things at a slower pace now. Now that our first field is ready, I've increased the amount of days per season. Uh, it was just because we didn't really have much to do. So now we're at this stage. It's going to be at least six days per season and potentially 
increase to nine at some point. It was three before. So there we go, that is a, a field of linseed ready to harvest. It's gonna work out really well because we can tip this and then we can come back here and leave the lorry. Thankfully, we own a teleporter. And I don't mean the telehandler, some people call it a tele teleporter. I actually mean a teleporter where we can move from one place to another without walking or driving. Brilliant idea, sometimes, if you're not looking for 100% realism. Uh, obviously, we don't teleport in things like survival roleplay. Because that would be really weird. I used to call it a teleporter. I used to call a telehandler a teleporter, because a lot of people around where I live call it a teleporter. But ever since being told by so many people when I started doing YouTube, um, that it's actually in fact called a telehandler. I stopped calling it a teleporter and that's just got stuck in my head as a telehandler. Um, it, it, a teleporter is not an incorrect phrase for it. It's just probably not as well known as a telehandler. I think telehandler is its official um, name. But yes, teleporter is still well known in the UK. In, in some parts of the UK. So yeah, we're going to be paid for this at midnight once again. We will probably have solved the entire pit, though, before then. Because uh, this in-game day is going to last for maybe two episodes. Maybe three. Not quite. There we go. To the field. If we do get onto cultivation work today, then we'll get the demo class challenger. I'm thinking it's going to be tomorrow. But I can't say for sure. It depends really if there is a class challenger in today's video thumbnail, because <laughs> I just don't know how far we're going to get. If there is one, then it means I have bought it. Or I have I have demoed it. So that can go there. It's probably going to be unlikely that we can do a full lap without unloading. Just see how far we can get. Okay, right, I'll see you at the field. I'm absolutely staggered that we're getting that much straw out of such a low crop. But I'm not complaining. That's great. So, yeah, linseed is, by the look of it, a really good crop to do. Because it seems to yield high. You get the straw, which I, I didn't even know would get. I thought it was going to be chopped. Uh, we, we will eventually get a new combine harvester when we can afford it. But we'll keep this massive Ferguson going for now. And yeah, we're 75% full, so we're not going to do a full lap without being full, which just goes to show how good the yield is. And actually, we do have the yield map, which I, yeah, I think we have to, oh no, there it is. Seems to be quite good, but it varies depending on the soil type and everything, so you've got to have the right soil type for the crop, the optimum soil type for the crop. Uh, clearly down here, it's very good. We must be filling up even faster. And yeah, I need to uh, focus on where I'm going. Don't worry though, any missed bits I'll get before the end. So there we are. We are full. 8,600 litres from that. I feel like I should probably put it onto cosplay. I think what I'll do is I'll harvest as much as I can do uh, before the lorry is full. When, when the lorry is full, We'll put it onto a worker or cosplay. And then from there, I can just stick with the carting. This isn't ideal. <laughs> yeah, I, I need to uh, try and unload on the level ground. At risk of tipping over. Right, well anyway, at least that's going to get us going again with an empty tank. And we should get about, well, level with that house I would imagine. Almost empty. Yes, yeah, so if we're going to have varying yield, then it is going to be quite tricky to actually determine where we're going to be when we're full. 
Uh, but yeah, down the bottom here is definitely the best. Not sure what it was at the top. I think it was fairly average as well. It doesn't really matter. Oh no, it was, it was pretty good actually. Very good. So I'm going to continue. And then, as I said, when we are full, when the lorry is full, I'll hopefully be in a position to set off the worker. And then we need to get a bailer here as well. Okay, so there we go, we are on a worker. It's gonna be a bit messy to begin with, but once it has sorted itself out, it should be really good. Uh, so actually, we're only 52% full currently. It's such a big trailer, it's great. But this is an opportunity to check the price and see, wow, what we can make from linseed. Uh, that is very impressive. So where is five? It is just here. Right, well, it couldn't be any closer. <laughs> it's literally just there. And they're offering the best price currently. Making sure I just did check the right crop type. I've done that before. I say, oh look, let's take a look at linseed and they go and click on the wrong one. Uh, but no, linseed is very good. So the worker is just about to hopefully turn around and get on track. And once it does, we will unload going back up the field. Okay, good, that's all fine. So, I think it'd be good to get on top of the baling. We own a baler. We have the Fent. The Fent can run the baler. Can't remember if it could do it at full speed, but it, it definitely bailed the previous field. Uh, nice big Heston bales. So I think it'd be a good idea to bring the Fent across and do that. As for the demo tractor, it's looking likely that it's going to be next time because we'll be cultivating this field, maybe drilling it, but I, I think it might be a bit early. Okay, so that is 71% full. I will just go and empty it. I know it's not a full load, but since I'm going to be uh, sorting the tractor out, I don't really want to be rushing to empty it when we've put one more combine load into it. I was expecting the gate to open the other way. <laughs> there we go. So, nice long journey to the cell point. To the bit of a blind turning this. Can't really see. That's clear. I really am a big fan of this lorry. It's obviously not new, but it does a really good job. Plenty of power. Nice load of linseed. Yeah, I'm still amazed that we managed to get straw out of it. I suppose when you say linseed straw, it doesn't sound too weird. I was just looking at the height of the crop and I just thought, surely you'd chop that. We could still chop it. But it wouldn't really have any benefit to the field. Not in farming simulator anyway. I missed the turning. It's somewhere up here. Mind the forklift. Uh, I would imagine it's around the back. We have the beacon of light. Ah. Wow. So it is in there. Well, I managed to get through that door, amazingly. And I've run over a pallet truck thing. A little pump truck. 
Okay, next time I'll definitely enter through the other door. And that'll make things much, much easier. And then we have the height issue. Light. Uh, just about clear the light. And then roof. We're going to have to do it in two tips. £16,000 though. Yeah, linseed is really good. And that should hopefully empty the rest of the trailer. Yes, as long as we ignore the uh, the contact with the roof. So we're up to £59,000. You know I've been saying for the past few episodes, don't worry about the money because we've got harvest coming. This, this is why. <laughs> There's so much money in the crops. We're going to be doing fine. Okay. Now I've just got to get out of there. Doesn't seem too tricky. Yeah, that's a far better side. And now, we shall get to the baler. Very good timing. So we're unloading again with 36% full. Made some good progress with the baling. As you might have seen, I've got 10,000 litres of straw going to each bale, which is much more than before. It was 6,000 before. And I think that is just a, a really good figure to go with because otherwise you're going to spend forever collecting these bales up. And on a series like this, I don't want to be doing that. We've got quite a fast pace going here. So that is going to be, what, 55% full? Maybe 60? 55. Okay, so that is ready for maybe two more loads. Yeah, two more. I'm going to continue bailing. It is a good setup. I don't know why I just turned the engine off. Um, I've been trying to keep off the headlands as much as possible because I don't want to put bail in the way. The worker would just crash into it and then get stuck on it. Um, but yeah, with the increased capacity, it does mean that we can go for longer without dropping a bale, obviously, which does help things quite a bit. But because we are unloading the combine so frequently, it does mean that the harvesting is taking longer. I don't really remember the previous crop taking too long, because this is the only field which we've harvested a crop in before, and it's already on the second harvest. Yeah, so they're going to be problematic. I need the bale pusher for the front of the tractors. It's a very useful mod. I had it on the competitive multiplayer series. So, yeah, all I have to do is enable it. Good for when auto stacking as well.
it just goes to show that the amount of straw that you get is going completely on the yield and disregarding how tall the crop is which is obviously very good for us uh, both factors should really be taken into account but I hope you've been enjoying the time lapses there's not really any way of doing this except for time lapsing it it's just the way it is it's the the nature of the job you, when you're harvesting and baling we just go up and down the field all the time and I think that in real time for, for an FS video would be a little bit much so I, I think time lapsing is the only way but progress has been very good very happy with the progress today we have space for one more load of the combine in the trailer so we're going to get that sold we are going to sell all of the linseed we'll complete the harvest today but we won't quite finish the baling next time we'll finish the baling we'll get all the bales picked up and sold we may keep a few but I don't think we need to because we have the other even bigger field I'm pleased I didn't put linseed into the other field because it would have been chaos the rate that this is yielding at is just astonishing um, so yeah even at 10,000 litres look how many bales we have that's more than when we were making bales at 6,000 litres with the previous crop right so I'm going to go down here and then we're going to go back up that far side and then that'll be the baling done for today almost finished and yes because we need to head over to the sell point again I will have to check the prices again though because they might have changed ever so slightly some of them were increasing but I think number five will still be the best interesting the guard is turning on the PTO okay that's full hmm guard should be chained up right okay so let me just get the lorry put underneath the auger then we can conclude the bailing. 74%. I think it will fit. There should still be a little bit of space left afterwards. Ooh, just about stopped in time. And then, yes, back up this side. I'm interested to see how many bells we've actually produced. Thirty. Thirty so far. Thirty at ten thousand litres, so three hundred thousand litres of straw. <laughs> that is just hard to comprehend. Right, so we have another bell waiting for us at the finishing point. There we go. And the combine is finished. Finished unloading. We have 91%. So I will squeeze a bit more in. If we go up to the top, whatever it's got, we'll take that as well. Although it's not necessary because it's not like we have enough here to fill another trailer. It just makes it look more impressive for this tip. Ah, but of course we have a bale in the way. Might be able to unload it before we get to it. Yep, okay. Let's go. There is still our mini baler in the middle of the alfalfa field. I need to retrieve it later. But it is going to be used quite a bit, that mini baler. I'm tempted to get one on uh, Vintage Survival as well. Straight ahead, past the fort lift and through the doors at 34 miles per hour. Here we are. Okay, so I need to be careful because of the trailer tipping really high. This place is challenging multiple tips and we're fine so basically three tips that's exactly a third but fifteen thousand pounds a time can't complain of that 
So if it's 40, well, pretty much, if it's 45 to 50,000 pounds per load, you're certainly doing something right. That wasn't quite a third. I don't think I had it right down. And that's going to leave an annoying amount in the trailer. 7%. But we have a hundred and three thousand pounds. Wow, make that one hundred and seven thousand. With more to come. Right. Now for the final bit. Well, as it turns out, I did have time to finish the bailing, so everything is done. Looking pretty neat. So I think there's going to be quite a large income in the next episode. A large amount of money coming in from those bales. They are just standard bales, not any kind of special bale like soybean or corn. But despite that, it, it, it doesn't matter. Because there's so much straw here. We're going to have so much. Uh, currently 38. 38 bales. So there we go. We are done. Once that combine has finished. <laughs> There it is, the little triangle. Finished. Right. Good. So we'll unload that. We'll unload the final bit into the trailer. Or train. And we'll take it over to the same sell point, which is still offering the best price. I didn't really expect it to change. It's quite a a gap actually when you look at it. Okay, I've just finished the bailing, just to finish that little bit off, otherwise it would have been frustrating. And we can go. We should be able to do it in one tip. I've driven in a different way round. Yep. Yep, that's looking good. Perfect. Twelve thousand nine hundred and eighty five. So we finished with hundred and twenty thousand pounds. I think that's very good. As I said, we've got the straw as well. Tomorrow, or so that. Um, but we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.